Is it a police matter, Steve? I think it is, yeah. So I'll call the police. Oh, it's already been done. Is it, is it doing? I'm open, so. Alright then, so I believe this is probably the best way anybody can handle a silent audit. Because there was no threats, there was no violence, so it was quite... It was quite polite. They did keep on uh, mentioning the police are coming in, the police are coming in, which could be deemed as a threat to some people. But, in my opinion, they did probably the best thing, apart from they could have just walked away and left it and waited for the police to come. But they had their reasons for not doing that. Ash has found a couple of decent companies which have just informed the police, not being aggressive, not being verbally abusive of abusive or anything like that and are just a lot more inquisitive about what's happening rather than being aggressive towards Ash. We'll just get straight into this one, I'll break it down where I think I need to and let's just go. Welcome to the channel. Oh yeah, can we help you at all? Excuse me, can, can, can we help you at all, sir? Can I ask what you're doing and what you're filming? So can I ask what you're doing and what you're filming? So if you've got no, uh, no reason to record vehicle registration numbers, we'd rather you move on. Okay, and so what you would rather him do is under no obligation to do because he's on a public footpath, unfortunately. He hasn't tried to push that issue. He has just said he would rather him move on, which is under no obligation to move on, unfortunately. You might not like what he's doing, but he is, he is legally allowed to do what he is doing. Number plates are not private. They are on the front of the car and the back of the car, open to the public for the public to obtain in accidents. So if you do a runner, we can take that number plate and then the police can track you down. We can't track you down. Insurance companies can track you down as well, but we can't. So I don't know why everybody's concerned about number plates being recorded. Will you move on? Can I ask why you're recording registration numbers of those vehicles? Do you have anything to say? Can I ask who you are and who you think you represent? Do you think this is a police matter, Steve? I think it is, yeah. So call the police. Oh, it's already been done. Is it your doing? I'm open, so. So can we ask what you're doing? Okay, so like I said on the last video like this, I do think if you believe you, there's an issue to phone the non-emergency call because it is not an emergency, has not committed an offence yet. So a phone in 999, in my opinion, is a waste of police time because it's not an emergency. But I do, I do advise somebody which is unsure about something like this and think it, thinks it's suspicious to phone the non-emergency police line and get advice from them because they will, if they believe it's an emergency, push it through as an emergency. If not, they'll probably give you words of advice. Can we ask what you're doing? And why you think it's necessary to record us? You got anything to say at all, sir? So why were you recording registration numbers? Please, 
interesting. I don't really takes pictures of us in the vehicle yeah. situation. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You all right? Is that all right for you, sir? Is that better? Yeah. And you're not going to answer any of our questions. So we just wait for the police to come, mate, don't we? Mm. They'll be here soon. Like I said, I'm glad they're not being uh, aggressive or threatening in any way or abusive. Like you see some, some are, are quite insulting. I'm glad these are not being like that. They're, they're, they are having a bit of a laugh, as you've seen. At least he's taking photos of us and not reg plates. The whole issue is the reg plate, I believe. But they, they do mention something in a minute which might get a few people's backs up. But we'll just continue right into this video. What is it you think you're filming? And why do you think it's of any significance? Wait, let's just find a place, please. This is place to check out. One's recording all the registrations outside, and he's just answering mine with excuse for questions. So, would you call the police, please? Can you find the police, please? Thank you. Have they not done it? Well, I couldn't get hold of Louise. Oh, well. well, the police will be here sh sh shortly, sir. Be interested to see what, um, what you think you're doing, to be honest. So, the fact that they believe the police will come and get information out of him is a bit uh, mad, if if you ask me. I don't know why a lot of people believe that you have to speak to the police, you're under no obligation to speak to the police at all. That's why you have the... That's why they tell you everything you say will and can be used against you in the court of law. So that's why it is best to say nothing and if you're being arrested, you say nothing until your solicitor gets there. Always get a solicitor. I don't care who you are. Always get a solicitor. As they, that's what they get paid to do. Don't get a duty-free one if you don't have to. Make sure you've got your own good solicitor. But that's how relevant at this moment in time. Um, <laughs> that's, like I said, I don't know why they think he's going to talk to the police if he ain't talking to yous. The threat of the police, because that's what it is, it's a threat of the police, has not phased him at all. So I don't know why they think the police will phase him when he gets there. Okay. If he was a bit more chatty, mate, I'll go and get some coffee so we can sit down and talk about our adults, about what you're trying to do here. But we'll just wait for the police, that's probably the best idea, eh? You're rotting that balaclava, mate, ain't you? Which is a bit disconcerting, to be honest. You don't want to be wearing stuff like that, really. It's a bit, uh, you know, puts people on, on edge, really. You know, don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> it is slightly disconcerting. So when a man with a balaclava starts recording, on the hottest day of the year. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it, it is a little bit, bit, bit worrying, mate. So what, what is it you're hiding? What is it you're hiding? Mm. Yeah, I think we've, I think we've had our conversation ahead of him, Steve. I think yeah. we have a chuckle and a bit of a. That's all we get, mate. Superiority. Unlike you, sir, I'm going to ask for permission. Can I please take a picture of you? Thank you. You know, we're having our picture off, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you.
Okay then, so that's practically the end of that interaction. Uh, I've let the rest play out because there's not much what really happens. He has to take a photo, which you don't really have to ask. You're in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. I understand their, their concerns with him wearing a full face covering on probably the hottest day. But would they have the same thing if he was wearing a medical mask, a hat, and sunglasses, which would probably cover your face up more than just a, a snood? would probably not because they'd see it as oh we might be self isolating or something like that we've seen it said before so this whole argument of is acting a bit strange yes you might call it strange but this is something he does all of the time some people's hobbies are strange to other people i think train watching is a bit strange but i get it because i like to look at cars some people like cars, some people like watches, some people like trains, some people like beds. It's just a hobby. Everybody's different. So it's not strange. One person's strange is another person's normal. Like I said, I don't have a problem with them phoning the police as long as it's on the non-emergency line because the police don't need to be tied up with stuff like this. The police shouldn't even turn up to something like this. Well, I'm going to stop ranting now. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video. It does help in YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.